What up guys, Kevin here. You're looking at my, not a pre-built, this is one I built. Took me about an hour, 5600X, absolutely amazing CPU, quiet, just the stock cooler and it's pretty quiet. There's an audible hum and great performance. Um, I think the highest it got was like 75 degrees and that's playing like Yakuza Like a Dragon, uh, Dragon's Dogma, Witcher 3, great CPU. Um, 6700 XT. I think there might be something wrong there because my performance, I feel like I was getting about 10 frames per second less than um, what others were getting online on YouTube doing the benchmarks. But that'll be something I'll have to look into. But other than that, I'm very happy with this build. But what I'm not happy with is the PC gaming bullshit. And I hate PC gaming. I really effing do. Uh, especially today to where I'm just like, I'm done. I'm absolutely done with PC gaming. It's obnoxious. It's not for me. So to start off, what issues did I have today? Um, the My controller disconnected twice, just totally disconnected. I had to pair it twice, twice. Imagine playing the game. Your battery's not dead, but it just decides, meh. PS5, I'm just gonna disconnect from you. Xbox, eh, goodbye. Had to get up. You know, I use this on my TV. So I'm like sitting on my bed playing games, getting off my bed, walking up to the PC, pairing the controller. It's it's annoying. It's a hassle and it's annoying. It happened twice today. Why? I have no idea. I have no idea. And this is one of these videos where like, oh, if you just did this, oh, if you did this, you did this. No, no. Um any PC gamer out there who PC games for years on end who says they don't encounter these issues, they're lying. They're lying. Or basically what they're saying is, I love putting up with these issues. It's worth it to me. Or I get a kick out of fixing these issues. Me, I don't. I work all day. When I come home, I just want a game. That's it. I don't want to deal with these issues. Um, second of all, and this happens to me a lot. I'll play a game, works perfectly fine, full screen, right resolution, um, right details, um, graphic wise. And then the next time I boot it up, it opens in a very weird resolution, like halfway off the screen to the point where I can't even reach the options to change it. <laughs> yeah, but with the Yakuza today, I'm like, um, it was like blown up and halfway off the screen and I couldn't even get to the options. I had to restart it like five times and it like opened up in a very small window. I'm like, well, at least I can get to the options from here and then fix everything. Why does that happen? Why does that happen? There's no reason for it to happen. I change the settings, I hit save, I save the game, I quit. And then a day later when I come back, I'm like, huh? <laughs> that PC gaming experience, huh? <laughs> That's the experience there. Um, what else? The taskbar kept popping up for some reason today. And um, audio. The audio kept cutting out. I'm like, what the hell is going on? And now I did say how quiet this PC is. Compared to a PS5 and Series X, it is loud. It is loud. Um, I think all, I mean, is there a really, really quiet PC out there? I don't know. I'll give it up to the Series X and PS5. They are very quiet machines and Series S. Very quiet. Um, that I appreciate. But yeah, that's just my horrors just from today on PC gaming. And why I think PC gaming is... I mean, if you're choosing a PS5 and Series X over a PC gaming, really think about where you're spending at least an extra thousand. I know a lot of these people say like, oh, PC gaming doesn't cost that much. Yes, it does. It does. If you want anything close to PS5 or Series X performance, you're going to have to spend at least a grand. You just are. You just are. Especially in 2021 when all this stuff is very hard to get. Well, the GPU, the CPUs and everything else is pretty easy. But 6700 XT, um, yeah, it outperforms um, the PS5 and Series X. But that's a thousand bucks right there. <laughs> And damn right, that's going back. That's way too much money. Um, it's just not worth it. To me, it's just not worth it. To you, it might be worth it.
But if you don't have these issues, tell me what your secret is. Tell me what your secret is. I got everything installed up to date. I really think um, it's just not for me or I just don't like putting up with this stuff. I just don't. And it's something I hear all the time from people who play on PC. I'm hearing all the time, like, man, I'm just going to get me a Series X or a PS5. They're there. PS5 and Series X can play games pretty close to 4K. And if not, they look, they still look pretty damn good. Uh, the HDR is way better on console as well. So even if it can't hit 4K or high resolution as it could on a PC, the HDR just makes the games just pop. That was one thing I noticed when I was playing Yakuza Like a Dragon when I was switching from um, my PC to the Series X. It's just, yeah, the PC has more detail, but like just on console, it's just that console is made for television. This is made for pff, everything. <laughs> and when it's made for everything, it's made for nothing. And the detail is great, but if you were to take a like a quick glance at the Series X and then the PC, you would think the Series X looks better just by HDR alone. Whereas the PC, you'd really study it like, okay, I can really make out the detail here and here and here over the Series X, but man, man, I will take that trade off. I will take that trade off though. Um, I much rather have games on the Series X and PS5 just run at 1080p ultra detail and not even worry about 4K and have that really good juicy HDR. Um, but yeah, that's, that's just PC gaming for me. I just absolutely hate it. I really do. I really do. It's the worst. These new consoles are there. They are there. Um, my biggest surprise is just that how many games run at 60 FPS. There might only be a couple games on the Series X and uh, PS5 that don't hit 60. I think that might be medium and... Atelier Ryza 2, which you still can if you go into the PS5 menu and change it to 1080p. But that I am just so impressed. And I think 60 FPS for me is good enough. To me, it's good enough. It's to the point where it doesn't look like a flip book. I'm not. It's playable. It's playable. I hope next generation or the PS5 Pro or Series X1X or whatever they're going to call it really step it up to 120 fps um I hopefully by then hdmi 2.1 will be a standard and even the most cheapest tvs and you'll start seeing like all right 30 40 50 60 percent of americans or people with the tv have an hdmi 2.1 and then we can really start taking 120 fps seriously um i really hope we're done with resolution because for me I can make out the difference between 4K and 1080p, but going from 4K down to 1080, I I see a bit of a difference, but it's really not that much. It's really not that much. So to go from like 4K to what, 8K, 16K, whatever they're trying to get next to, just don't, just don't. I really don't want to go back to 30 frames per second gaming. Cause I know, especially Ubisoft, they would love to do that. They would love to make their games look really pretty in 16K, even if it means taking a hit on frames per second and not giving us that 4K 60 option anymore. <laughs> but yeah, there you have it. I really hate PC gaming. I really do. I really do. Um, man. <laughs> I think maybe Windows 10 has a lot to do with it. So I blame Microsoft. Microsoft, fuck you. I love my Series X, but man, I, I just, it's just so immersion breaking. For me, at the end of the day, all those little problems maybe would be worth it, but man, the hit on immersion, when I'm getting really into a game, then the controller just <laughs> stops pairing. I gotta repair the controller. Or some games, even like the Windows cursor is still there. It's like, hey, I'm playing with controller, but the Windows cursor is just stuck in the middle. Like, nah, man. I, I hate it. I absolutely hate PC gaming. It sucks. It sucks. I think it is objectively the worst way to game. 
I really do. I really do. Okay, I mean, I'm taking that a little too far. If you enjoy PC gaming, cool. Cool. Um, but I think those days of like PC, the PC Master Race, like, it meant something up until about a year ago. Because, yeah, 30 frames per second is definitely not worth worth it. But now when I hear that term, I just laugh. I'm like, when I hear PC Master Race, I'm like, okay, for you to really gain that title, you have to spend well over a grand, probably closer to two grand than one grand to really outcompete these consoles. And I'm just laughing with all the gaming PC bullshit you have to deal with when the Series X and PS5 and Series S run games just fine. They're playable now. The consoles are now playable. All right, well, I'm done rambling now. i um, actually gonna return this GPU. $1,000 for that, no. I think I was having issues as well, because man, it was dropping, I'm dropping frames on uh, Trails in the Sky. That is a old ass game. I'm like, it's at 64K and it's like dropping down to like 55. Something ain't right there. So something's wrong with this uh, GPU. I'm gonna swap it out just for another 6700 XT, but I'm definitely gonna keep an eye out for something cheaper. I may even go with the 3060. 3060, because with how far away I sit back when I game, like 1080p is fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, I'm done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Later.